Uh, we talked about before the game, you know, this is a team that's, you know, playing well. They've, they've got a lot of size. Obviously, they're well coached. Uh, it would take everybody and it would take a team team energy of youthfulness and athleticism to uh, we're going to take some hits. And our guys took some physical beating uh, tonight and stood in and, and tried to deliver as many blows as they could. And we kept trying to run them. Uh, and maybe we wore them down or maybe not, but it's, it, was, it was a total team win and different guys contributing uh, different spots. Thought him on, you know, battled against DeRozan. A lot. Willie took a lot of hits against LaMarcus. We tried not to double him and open up shooting on the perimeter, but we tried to give him enough different looks. Uh, Harry did a nice job coming in. I thought Marvin had a terrific game. Uh, as his as his experience level goes up, the game's starting to slow down for him. Different matchups that he's got to guard on the perimeter. He has to get it. How can he do this? How can he do that? Thought he had a terrific game. I thought Yogi Ferrell was tremendous, and that's why I thought he had a hot hand. And I, I did sit uh, De'Aaron and Buddy a long time, but I felt like we had a rhythm with that group, um, especially defensively. We were getting stops, and they weren't getting second shots, which was a big issue in the first half with nine offensive rebounds. Uh, but we got out and ran, and uh, very positive and, and just a good, good, happy locker room tonight. Coach, everyone's going to be talking about that 360 dunk by Marvin. Just what was going through your mind when, when that whole play went down? Well, I, I saw it a little late. I didn't, I didn't know if the ball was going to go in or not from the pass. Mm -hmm. So then it can be interference, and it was a good play. And I'm the coach, so I'm thinking about the next play. So <laughs> Didn't really get to enjoy it. Yeah, everybody else seemed like they enjoyed it, though. Uh, I'm looking forward to – I'm actually looking forward. That's I want to see that. You know what I mean? Like, let me rewind that again. Did that just happen? So that's kind of the – it sounded like the reaction that it was. How impressed have you been with just not only Yogi tonight in that fourth quarter and kind of the, the way the crowd responded to him, but just really the way he's been able to run the second unit really in the sense of the turn of the calendar year? Yeah, it, it, we've got a good chemistry uh, with that group as far as we know kind of the pecking order of who can make plays. So sometimes he gets it in transition and gets the first five or six seconds. Then we're trying to play through Bogdanovich. And now Bogey and Marvin are having some time to spend together because they can – Bogey especially can help Marvin understand the game, make the game slow down. Hey, you gotta, we got to switch right here. Just roll him. I'll get you right there. Or those kinds of things uh, where you create some chemistry and, and you, you continue to uh, give them experience and, and raise their IQ basketball-wise. You talked before the game about fearing maybe a hangover. From Saturday night, how pleased were you this, the way the way the guys responded? It was it was nice. Um, you know, it can be they can get you out of a rhythm because they really tried to play slow early and just be very physical, pound the ball in the post, ISO, 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 um, and to come out and get a slow start and play from behind would have been difficult for us. So getting a, getting in front, uh, I think we had 20 fast break points almost. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, in the first quarter. In the second quarter, we got none. The game got a little slower. That's what we talked about at halftime of, of getting it back up, uh, getting the pace up and down the floor, and, and I felt like we were able to do that. Not all that long ago, it seemed like this team was struggling a little bit late in games with a lead, now gone nearly wire to wire against two of the best rosters in the NBA. What has sparked that change? Uh, I don't it seemed like we're making shots and, and making big plays at the uh, at the right times, and I think maybe that generally happens at home a little bit more than it does on the road. I mean, De'Aaron threw the ball. They came out and double teamed the other night out of a timeout after we advanced it, and it got chaotic. De'Aaron gets a shot on goal. Willie misses the putback. Marvin misses the putback. Marvin makes the third putback. Those kinds of things happen, you know what I mean? And uh, I think they generally tend to happen more at home, but uh, I'm fine with all that. That's great. I think last game your bench scored 80, tonight 60. They outscored the opponent 60 to 32, your bench. Uh, how big has that second unit been, and do you feel like they're building some chemistry? Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, I think Bogey's struggling a little bit shooting the basketball, but he's a he's a big part of the playmaking of it, you know, and uh, so they've got a little uh, of an identity. Um, it's been difficult. You know, Justin Jackson's not, his minutes have gone down because committing to play, Marvin Bagley more minutes committing to play Harry. I'm not getting Justin to play any four. So his minutes are going down a little bit there. And, you know, it's difficult to play 10 guys, but every guy has been professional and been a team guy and cheering uh, when ready for their opportunity. And, uh, you know, I think Harry Harry had a nice game again tonight. He's he's a much more – he's a threat. When he gets the ball, he's going to oh, – you better guard me. And when that happens, then the passing opens up. And uh, so he's, I think, showing growth as well with that group. Dave, how would you describe um, Marvin's athleticism and then also – where his skill set is is coming to to meet his athleticism now? Uh, just it takes time, and and you know the more experience that he gets, uh, the better. He's always been a you know a good second jumper. Gets off the floor well. Um, you know he's learning where I can put him. Our team is still learning how to where we what positions we can put him in to be successful, and and that just takes time of learning how to play with each other. Uh, where guys like the basketball. If you don't have this, you can always know that I'm out there. A lot of times with rookies, you know. Uh, 
had my fair share, especially in the minor leagues, they just shoot it real quick because the coach can't get mad because I didn't turn it over and I didn't forget the play. I just shot it, you know. So he has a great feel. That pass tonight that he made to Bogdanovich on the break, boom, right out in front, right play, right time, and he's it, he's coming along. And, you know, he's, he's obviously he's talented. So it's, it's really fun to watch him grow, uh, especially here, you know, at home. Dave, to that point, when you talk, before Marvin got hurt, he was finding a groove. Does this feel like it's even in a better spot than it was even before that injury for him? I can't really remember. Sorry. <laughs> I think he's getting better. Uh, he's you know learning to play with the ball, without the ball. Uh, Bertans, I think, is the number one three point shooter uh, in the NBA. Stand still. I think Buddy's maybe second. Um, playing those kinds of guys that are stretch guys, uh, making sure you know earlier in the year he was still playing as a big in college, where you run back to the paint. The NBA, it's run to the three point line, fan out on offense, and he's learning now to close some of those guys' space and use some of his athleticism. And you know, it's uh, sky's the sky's the limit for him. It's really fun to watch. Thanks you. Thank you, guys, is what I meant to say. <laughs>